You ready to play some music? Make this a little bit more advanced, trying to do some uh, fiddle styles here. Uh, I guess you might call this uh, old time fiddle. I'm not sure exactly. What I like to try to think about is just to play clear ideas and take a few chances, but rhythmically clear ideas. You ready? So the pentatonic scale that I'm using here is a different one than a lot, than a lot of times uh, what you might notice, just briefly. Love that, it's a lot of fun. Let's just do a little more with that, okay? Um, I'll give you some, 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 just some exercises out of that scale so you can learn it with me, okay? Um, oh, sorry. Uh, you play that? And I'll just take it up. different scale isn't it <laughs> on that that works really nice on G the one we did I think we need a different scale on on a and maybe on D as well I haven't thought about it that much but that's really fun let's go back to that one on G and let's just work on that because there uh, you can use that in a lot of uh, what I've noticed is on some bluegrass or old-time tunes you can use that and it, and it sounds a little bit authentic so I'll give you some more licks that just come out of there okay uh... <laughs> So the other thing, and I'm going to bring it up again, and I've probably talked, you've probably heard me talk about it before, is the importance of having a clear melodic rhythm. So if you just hear just a rhythm in your head, da ga da da, 
you can then take that rhythm and you can do a lot of things with it. You can go up, you can go down, you know, and you don't have to play the same rhythm every phrase, but if every phrase you think I'm going to do this rhythm this time, I'm going to do a different rhythm this time. That's, that's, that's so important. So I encourage you to write down your rhythms. I have a series on here called write and play, um, write and play along in this. You can find the playlist. Um, so I encourage you to check that one out or just do what I'm saying, which is like, just write out some rhythms that you like. And you can even listen back to some of the lines I play or some of your favorite fiddle players. You hear somebody's line, write down the rhythm and see if you can change it. Does that make sense? That'd be a great assignment follow-up for you. And just so you understand where I'm coming from, especially when I do these play-alongs, because a lot of times I'll notice as I'm doing the play-along, oh, I just did the same rhythm over and over again. I gotta try to change the rhythm. So I'll start in a different place in the bar. So that's kind of a pro tip for you. Let's play a little more. On D. Uh... Thanks a lot for hanging in with me on this uh, old time fiddle. It's not my normal thing that I do all the time, but I sure do respect it and appreciate it. And I love to do more of it. Um, as always, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to get more of. You know, you can connect with me for a lot of free resources. And also, if you'd even like to take a free lesson with me, join my private online studio. I'd love to connect with you. Thanks a lot for being here. And until the next lesson, happy practicing.